pretty far. Uh-huh. Far enough. Far enough. Uh-huh. Yeah. Our Chris is back and you're gonna, gonna be, be in, in trouble. trouble. Welcome oh, back. back. Hey. We missed you. We missed bed. you so, so much. Did you miss us? This is us? me tapping on your shoulder. Like, doink, doink. <laughs> Did you miss doink. us? Yeah, it was. I, I missed you guys. Did you? Yay. Yeah, I was in a dark. I was in a dark hole. I know. Where I went. I I was thinking about, I, I was really bummed that I didn't have one of those fake neck braces. Because <laughs> I wanted to come back from the trip with one. And oh, like, no. And darken my no. eyes and be like, what's going on, guys? Like, show up to work. Yeah. And But just to tell them that I can't work because I've been involved in a, <laughs> at a yeah, just the- really violent mountain <laughs> fall. Like a whole halo, like Regina George getting hit by the bus. Yeah. Just like, like, I, <laughs> like, you're just like, ah. <sighs> uh, uh, like, yeah, someone calls my name and asks what happened, and I go, oh, look, my neck. Look, I almost said, I'm not going to be able to make it this week. Yeah, but I'll tell him that I, you know, I'm only there because technically I didn't clock out. <laughs> so, you got where's my own, money? You got hurt on company time. I got hurt on company time because technically I was clocked in. Now I was just yeah. on the So, Mr. Boss Man, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to need some that. workman's comp. <laughs> like, how much would they even give? You think they would even give me? Two cents. They'd they send me like a chocolate basket with the, you know, <laughs> the turtles in Wait, it. Wait, if you got hurt at actual work or if you got hurt while you're on the clock but not on the premise? On the clock but up the mountain. Okay, I'll tell you exactly what they'll do for you. <laughs> they'll tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they'll say that to a man in a neck brace? Because someone in our... Yeah, I know. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, moving along. Uh, but I also saw a porcupine... You did. Yes. The second, I'll show you pictures of it. Where's my phone? Did you get up close? I, I mean, from. Did you try to get spiked? I do. Honestly, I had to track like guitar, so mm-hmm. I couldn't really, really. Mm-hmm. I didn't really want to fuck my hands up like that. But part of me wanted a quill, but okay. I wanted to. I can't just Actually, rip one off of if them. If any of our mm-hmm. listeners have ever been stuck by a po- uh, porcupine, I yeah. want to know about it. Yeah, like uh, who's that guy? Coyote Peterson. Who? The guy from uh, Brave Wilderness. Remember him? He's like the no. guy that gets stung. Or used to. He used to get stung by all the crazy bugs. And, and he was like a wilderness guy on YouTube. And he would always take like bites from crazy animals. And oh, crazy yeah. I, I think I know who you're talking uh, about. Science, oh, just to be like, this, it, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. This is what would happen if I, I got want stung you to know, by yeah, a... On a scale from one to ten, how bad it hurts. Yeah. That one's only like a six. Yeah, you think so? Mm-hmm. A porcupine? I don't know. I've gotten like, you've gotten piercings and we've got like tattoos and yeah. stuff. Like, I think it'll be okay. Mm-hmm. I've had four sting, kids. Though. They probably yeah. sting, can, you know? It probably does. Like a like a mosquito bite, but uh, it's a huge ass quill. Yeah. And they probably go, I wonder if they hit bone. Like, I wonder if they're that good. How deep they go. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. the first one I ever saw up the mountain was pretty like large. Like it definitely was a full grown one. And this was like three years ago. I was up in the mountains of PA and we were going to this, like, we, w- we were going up the mountain, and there was this huge, like, flat area. Mm-hmm. And it was cool, because there was, like, a river in it, but there was no, it was just all leaves. It was almost like a flood. It looked really cool. Crystal clear water, and up this dead tree, like, a, it had a V. It was, like, a dead tree with a V, and in the V was a fucking porcupine. Bella mm-hmm. and the witch. Out. Probably, like, six, seven feet above the ground. I've never, I, I couldn't, I didn't even know porcupines were in, like, this area, in terms of, I didn't know, know. I hadn't, actually, you know what? I actually haven't thought about porcupines that much to mm-hmm. be like, where do they live? Yeah, they're in the fucking mountains. But this one I saw was like a baby. They're bigger than I expected. Like I picture yeah, them the to be. Yeah, one in the tree was like this big, like the size a of like balls, um, or like a one like of those a, exercise good. balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't picture them that big. I picture them like the size of like a Jack Russell terrier. The one I saw was recently. The one I saw mm-hmm. this this, but it wasn't even up the mountain. We were on the way down. We saw it. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what my phone is, but you got to see it. It's it's adorable. You took pictures. Yeah, yeah, I got pictures. Aww. I couldn't. I because we were even saying because the one of the one of the weirdest things we saw at the mountain was a porcupine. Mm-hmm. This time around, we're like, I wonder if we're gonna see a porcupine. We fucking did. Mm-hmm. And it was like on a trail. That would be a fun animal to see. Because up the mountain, yeah. there like, are no trails. You saw like a bear, or like a mountain mm-hmm. lion. Like you'd probably be a little scared. Yeah. I looked up on Google to see how, like, deep porcupine quills go, Mm -hmm. and there is not really a definitive answer, so I'm assuming... Whatever they feel like. I'm assuming just don't push them in farther, like... (laughs) Do you remember Homeward Bound? Yeah. Like, like, uh, when Chance gets, like, the quills Uh in his... I followed... I've seen, like, a pit bull, like, a pit bull get quills in his... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. He's cute. He looks little. He's such a good little boy looking dude. 
That's an all black one though. Mm-hmm. Are they normally all black? The one I saw was like a light brown. I thought they were like I thought they were like a grayish brown. Mm-hmm. Like cool. So well, cool. he he was definitely smaller. I don't know if he was a different species. He looks like cool. he was a baby. He's a little goth. Yes. Yeah, a little goth he loves the pine. cure. He, and that picture, negative. that picture makes him look like a little sea urchin. Yeah, he's kind of like urchiny. Like like a little sea like, urchin. Probably but fuck you up. Overall, did you yeah. have a nice? Nice vacation, time. nice break from us. Yeah, no, it was dope. I had a great time. It was it was really nice out. It rained like one day, but it was like mm-hmm. very it was very aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Good. So we were all just like hanging out and like watching spooky shit, and you're just like, mm-hmm. that's always fun. Hell yeah! And I watched Late Night with the Devil. Mm-hmm. I watched uh, Come to Daddy. I watched like I think it was like Evangelion, some like mm-hmm. anime from the the nineties. That was dope. I liked it. I know what you're talking about, yeah. And uh, what the fuck else did we watch? I, I watched the menu, but I fell asleep during it. But I liked it I've heard so that's far. so good. Yeah, Actually, it, was, it Nick, was really interesting so far. Friend of the show, Nick, he loves the menu. Really? He does. Mm-hmm. And I have not seen it yet. It's gonna Something's look got good gloss. taste. Did you listen to our episode that we did without you? I didn't even know you did one without me. No. We I, I swear to God, I, I had no idea. We mm-hmm. sat in Jess's car and That's we were recorded. Tight. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Jesus Christ! I didn't. On, I swear to God, phone. I didn't even know. Yeah. yeah, I know because Rib did a show without me. Yeah, which I was very mm-hmm. proud of him for. But we he set uh, up his own slideshows and everything. I, I was didn't like, Damn, want right. to do like I didn't want it to be like two weeks without an episode. So mm-hmm. we did what's going to be called as parking lot sessions. Okay, where she's in the car with me and we'll have like a calling guest or someone mm-hmm. on the phone with us. It's pretty chill because you work mornings, you hater, so yeah. you can't yeah. indulge. Really bird, <laughs> bird's got to eat. Right, but when you are indisposed, we can make do. Okay. Yes, that's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you know, yes. Probably Hopefully fuck, it's probably few, fucking soft. few and far between because we yeah, like we like having you. Yes. Yeah. No one. We can like re- we like my eye. harassing no one can you. Replace this. I think we should all hold. You hands. guys, you guys can't see, but I'm like I'm we doing this very cocky lean back. Like, you know, I, like, I don't even care. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> just the four of us. Too cool. Hell yeah. You, me, Piper, and Gary. Yep. What? <laughs> One happy family. I just got back. Oh. Where did I put my bags? Oh, Gary. Welcome. Welcome Gary. back, Gary. I forgot to have the bouncer come to make sure no one sneaks in. I saw, yeah. pe- I saw like, skid marks on the road. Like, he must have fucking got he out had of to get here for something. Yeah. He'll, I'm sure he'll be back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Bouncer Man, man. had so must have got out here in a hurry. some Miss- mission. Miss Piper. Yes. What have you been watching lately? Oh, well, um, thanks to you and good friend of the show, Nick. Um, I have been getting an 80s movie education. Um, and we watched 16 Candles, um, okay. which... Who's he? Does not d- does not uh, hold up very well, <laughs> I will say that. Yeah. There's um, 16 Candles? 16 Candles is a yeah. little... Controversial. It's, it's now. kind yeah, of it? um, uh huh, kind of offensive. We forgot how to have fun. Uh, yeah. What that else? Was, what that, else? What else? We watched uh, Pretty in Pink. Mm-hmm. My I, favorite. I am Team Blaine. Yes, me too. Um, I love Ducky. Although I love, I love Ducky, but... I am Team Blaine. I, I'm glad he came around. Um, what else? We and then watched, we watched. Uh, Dirty Dancing, which Nick, I'm sorry, but it is way better than Footloose. Yes. Because in Footloose, 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 there was a Dennis Rader doppelganger and a Ted Bundy <laughs> oh, yeah, car. And that's this. the only yes. two things that I could think of. Every time the Ted yes. Bundy car popped up on screen, I would make fun of it. She told like, me about this, and that's <laughs> yeah. exactly how I found out that BTK is still I, alive. Yeah. yeah. I thought he was like gunned down. No, no, like no, no. A, you know, brick we, walled. Um, yeah, like Footloose, like it's. I get why people love it, mm-hmm. but it's just like boring, boring, boring. Dance, yeah. dance, 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 dance. And also, boring, yeah. boring, boring. Girl who's not really likable. Yeah, like, it's yeah. It's like, well, it's because just the like, soundtrack was Kenny Loggins. It's just right? like I get it. You're yeah. like you can't. Like I'm not gonna have the time of my life mm-hmm. watching that one. It makes sense as to why the songs are the best part. Like way. I get it. Like you're you live in a boring town, but like don't fucking ruin a train conductor's day by like thinking he's gonna fucking murder you. In Footloose? Yeah. yeah. She's it's like, been a while well, she's since like, watch this. Uh, it's like, you're just an asshole. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, you're just like. It's like, boo. <laughs> um, um, well, we watched, well, it's the 70s, yes. but. 
we watched a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which was iconic. I love Columbia so much. She's such a vibe. She gives me like Cyndi Lauper vibes. Like, uh, just like, like very like eccentric, like, it was so high pitched. Like Harley Quinn almost. Yes. Harley Quinn has. It was so exciting for me Mm -hmm. to, uh, because I've seen all these so many times, but to be like, this is her first watch, to like, I wish Uh I could. I wish I could have seen your face like watching. That's part of my. That's one of my most favorite things ever. Mm-hmm. Is showing like my kids, and you're kind of like lumped into that now. Sorry. Uh, She's like, like this. No, but I like showing them movies. <laughs> but I like to watch the look on their face during the best parts yeah, you of do, the movies. Because the- no, because no, but I just like I stealthily out of the corner of my eye, I just watch their little faces. Be like, holy shit! They're loving this. He was dead the whole time. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's why the doorknob was red. Oh. That's why that. Glass broke in the jewelry store and no one was mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. And then um, it was we Bruce also Willis the whole time. we also watched um, a more recent show um, on HBO called Big Little Lies. Just season um, one. You can do season, season two one. on your own. I've, yes. I've watched season one so many times. It it's was so good. it's so good. It has um it has like a pretty uh, well known cast like Reese Witherspoon and it. it has Uzi. Nicole no. Kidman and Nicole Kidman, excuse me. Yeah. And then it has uh, Shailene, Shailene Woodley, Woodley. the girl who played Tris in Divergent, and then uh, Ian Armitage who played uh, young. young Sheldon. Okay. And then well, Miss Laura Dern. We can't leave her out. Yeah. Like, um, have we seen Nicole Kidman? Did you say that? Yeah. You said that already. Right. Yeah. Good man. And then Zoe Kravitz. Yes, yeah, Zoe okay. Kravitz. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, it was just, it's like a very talented cast, and it's so crazy. Like, there's a lot of plot twists. I won't spoil anything if you guys want to watch it. Mm-hmm. But What's it's it about so again? cool. Um, so basically, it's like a murder mystery, like about um, this group like, of women that like they, are, they all. They live in Monterey, California. California. Their kids all go to the same elementary school. It's just like mm-hmm. their friendships and there's mm-hmm. enemies and there's like, there's it's, like it's good. drama. There's it's like drama. nothing it's just supernatural. Tra- it's it's uh it's just like a yeah a soap opera in a way. It's like a thrill. Yes, it's but it's so good. There's, there's like thriller. a subplot with like one of the mom's kids is getting bullied at school and like they're trying to figure out who it is and you know like I, everything you know I, and you know why I love shows like that uh-huh. like soap opera soap operas especially because like. When someone whips out a gun, it's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like holy shit! It's like, he's got a gun. <laughs> Other movies, just guns everywhere. It doesn't matter. But like yeah. like a general hospital, like when someone just pulls he's a gun a out, gun. it's like that's like the episode yeah. of the season. Mm-hmm. Like oh, you know what sure. I'm saying? Like oh yeah, mm-hmm. everything's so you know what you know that's why I love Twister because it was just simple. Every movie she so, has like, not seen hyper- that yet. I think the three of us need to. Watch yes. that together. Twist Thursday is coming out. I know. Yes. And we still need you to see X and Pearl so you can come mm-hmm. with us to see Maxine. The most recent yes. trailer looks which looks pretty fucking dope. I'm I so it. excited. Yeah. I keep harassing my mom to sit down and watch Pearl and X with me because uh I You would... wanna watch you wanna watch this with your mom though? Well, she wants to watch them with me. Okay. okay. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, I watched I watched Saltburn with my dad yesterday. No, you didn't. No, of course not. You didn't. He'd be he would turn that shit off. <laughs> He'd be like, get the, be like, the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, but let's see, other than that, I don't, that's pretty much all I've been watching. Yeah. Just like stuff with you. Uh-huh. Like a big bang. Yes. And then uh just like some true crime. I just things. started season nine of the Big Bang Theory. I don't even know uh-huh. where I left off. Um, dee dee dee. let's see here. Come on, Max. Let's get there. Oh, there's another show I think you would really like. Oh. Uh, Sharp Objects. Ooh. It's like a true crimey kind of Ooh. show. So you would like that one. Let's see. I am on season nine, episode five. Oh, so you're like around the same place I am. Yeah. So you know that Penny and Leonard get eloped, right? Yes. Stop. Uh-huh. Ah! It's, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. No. Um, there's. Uh, did you ever see the Jinx? No. Holy shit! All right, never mind. Look, Is it a show or a movie? It's a it's a true crime docu series. Right, right. We need to watch it. Okay. Okay. Because season two came out and I haven't watched that yet. Okay. So, okay. Anywho. <laughs> um. Uh, anything else? Anything else going on? No. Any housekeeping? I'm trying to think. Has there been any developments in uh, true crime at Actually, all? Actually, there has. Because I'm curious. They I've finally off- set a date for the Idaho trial. Woo! 
Idaho. The Idaho Four. Brian Koberger. Uh, yes, Koberger. Mm-hmm. Yes. Step on down. Walmart Ted Bundy. Yes. Yeah. Timu Ted Bundy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's got to be like a new word for him. Does he have like a name? I mean, should we really do give him? No, a name? no. he doesn't deserve a cool name. He's, yeah, yeah. Uh, his name is the, his name is the Tiny Dick Killer. Now, if he walked away from the scene, no, he no. Call, call him the Moonwalker. It sounds like killer. he kills Tiny. No, he like you have to do like the uh, <laughs> sm- small wee wee slash <laughs> small the pretentious slash. predator. <laughs> Uh, I love it. I love it. Um, but the trial date is set for June of next year, and like both attorneys agreed to, like to set a date, but they're not agreeing to the venue yet. Mm. Because Madison they're... Square Garden, they want it. Uh, no, <laughs> not Madison Square Garden. Yeah, but um, no, because like, I guess they think like no matter where they go, like they want to make sure it's a fair. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. saying whatever, but um, yeah, everyone knows who you are. You can't like everyone just knows get it like, done. How much of an asshole you are? Just like oh yeah, you know, like, yeah, like how did are you, you gonna even get that guy off? Did you guys see? You know, Wade Wilson. Oh yeah. No. Not Deadpool. Wade Wilson. Well, it he, was fucking disgusting because the way I found out about that guy was some girl's fucking thirst trap wait, edit of him in court on TikTok. He has tattoos all over his face. Oh, the guy that's like trying to run the court. I've seen videos of him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, any, yeah. That verdict. He's like, I'm all. I'm all good. I was just I'm like, and like, then like, and then I was I really what, curious. Awful. So awful. then I searched up what he did, mm-hmm. and I was just like, that's fucking disgusting. People are making thirst trap edits of this man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like what? That's Twitter. No, it was on TikTok. It, oh, yeah? I was like, bro, why? Yeah, I was like, get that shit off my for you page. Because like, I, I know some people try to get like in front of what they'd expect fucked up people to do. So they make it as like a joke and then it actually spreads. And the same thing with Dylan Ruth getting love letters and no, shit. No, no. These, these people are 100% I get love letters. serious. You will. Put that into the universe. But Ladies. You're going you're gonna to give them the Jillin Ruth instead of me? I'll no, read them. You say Jillin? Jillin. Jake Jillin Hall Ruth. <laughs> um he's so ugly too i don't get it like ugh. no holy shit i was watching that what is it the who, what is that predator one where it's like the guy he's like the big guy with the beard predator poachers the is that what it is? Deep southeast there's this guy Alex rosin rosin the, damn kids riding by hang on um there was the, Got it out. One of these videos I'm reading. was this guy who wanted to look like a middle schooler and he was wearing this wig that like no. he had like a bowl cut. Listen, because you don't really see his face at first. So you just like he's like, but his thing was he had a fart fetish and he wanted kids to like fart on camera for him while he did things to himself. Oh, my God. And dude. so this guy shows like he shows up to this guy's house and it's kind of dark. You can't really see what he looks like. Yeah, it's darker, right? Yeah. But it's like you're like, oh, OK, but when the lights he's practicing for when the lights come on and you see what this guy looks like that he has like a fucking bowl cut he just like and then he is getting roasted he's like the like he's talking he's like yeah i bet you know you took the beatles break up really hard because oh, <laughs> man. Hair. and then the guys because he's like little he's like well you know if you ever need me i could like be a decoy for you or something he's like yeah you could totally be a decoy if you face the wall oh like, that's great like it is you face the wall i have to show oh. you a picture of this guy it is Oh my god. There's one where I think it was I think it was Alex and he busted mm-hmm. this long haired short guy in like a it looks like a fucking motel or something. And I don't even know how to do his voice. His voice was just so high pitched. Oh my uh, god, I he found gave it. him like a problem. Like he fucking was like I'm just gonna to fast him. forward to where you get to see what this guy looks like. Because oh, I'll describe for the audience what I'm looking at. You will. In grave detail. Yeah. Get a pen. I gotta see this guy too. It is bad and like the comments you know. it's like he should have been jailed for the fucking haircut alone there's, there's <laughs> like goes, two there's like two kinds of the people that he catches there's people that look like tradesmen yeah like they work a trade or they are like ultra gamer you know cave people yeah uh-huh. they're like shriveled they're they're potato shaped <laughs> Yeah, this one, like this comment, he goes, imagine having a fart fetish and it being the least weird thing about you. <laughs> that's exactly, dude. That's that's something. All right, we're going to skip. I w- just get to the the video. That guy. Right? Okay, I don't even I know. I have to show you what he looks like. It is. 
If anyone, yeah, it's. Uh, Does he have a job? Like, what causes that? Like, he's got to have like some kind of fucking anti-personal. The way that what do they, they call that anti uh, anti-social personality disorder. Yeah. Like the for real though, not just a meme. They like, always yeah. start out like real. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, get there. I'm not. Hang on. Let's see what it looks like. He's like, just put me away. Are you gonna put me away for life, or are you just gonna put me away for life? It's like, what are you admitting to right now? Yeah. I like, why? Because we're just here because we think that you were on video chat with someone. Mm. Like, what? What did you do? He's, the, he's like a dog caught in a trap. I want to see this man's. Cringe I'm trying to get there. Wounds. All right, I'm going to the. Where does it say? It's like most can replayed your, uh, part. Can I see your jewel? You want to see Julia Roberts? Yeah, give me Julia. Juliet. Juliet Louis. No, <laughs> Juliet Lewis. Is that from The Forgotten? Or my favorite bitch from uh... Daniel. Daniel McMahon. Carla Tate. <laughs> Carla Tate. All right, I have to wait for it to get to the park because like That's I can't. Okay. I'll keep I them busy. Keep them. Just keep keep talking. Uh, so I'm gonna sip my coffee. I'm trying to think. I wa- I started watching one of the most recent um, Skeet Hansen videos, mm-hmm. but I don't remember if I finished it or not. Skeet Hansen. But yeah, Alex. I watched. Alex is I watched something. a few of those. Um, <laughs> what was the like the the car salesman one? I was in the car like salesman. Won, won the car in some kind of sweepstakes. The the Lamborghini or something like the guy won. It was like a Corvette or some shit. I think the next video. Something. He said if we get yada, the bar. Yada. I watched the one with the Barbie where the guy shows up with the Barbie doll to watch like the, the Barbie movie. Yeah. Yeah, like when the Barbie movie uh, is no, coming out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, come on, just turn the light on. I'm trying to see. I can't fast forward it. Sorry about that rattling. I have myself a little headache. I must take some ibuprofen. You're well, playing you're, with that, you're, the you're gonna have a little ibuprofen there. snack. Yeah, I'm taking drugs. That thing's gotta be, you know. Yeah. Are we are we too ballsy to do a ritual with that one day? What? With that maraca? What does that even mean? I don't know what it means. It looks like it's some just kind like, of it's like ritualistic a, it's shaker. Like a maraca, but it looks like it's made from an upside down like. A uh, pear, yeah, it looks or like a, like a yeah, like a dried pear or some kind of fucking or, gourd or something. Mm-hmm. And then there's like these metal, like cylind, like like what are those like little oh, metal like, discs like at the bottom? They're like little tambourines or like little hi hats. Mm-hmm. And they make know. noise. I don't there's know. There's like what... a tiny little bongo drum over there too. You can. What is this? You can just like fucking finger... the hot chick. You can... Stop banging on the damn drum. <laughs> you can just like finger bang it. Yeah, <laughs> finger bang. Yeah. You ever watch South Park? Yeah. Finger bang bang. That's a banger. I got that clip on TikTok, um, on my TikTok for you page, mm-hmm. of the fucking um South Park episode where Cartman's in that like pie eating contest or whatever, and he makes okay. the was and it he, the Stand By Me episode? Was it, was it like a Stand By Me? Episode? No, he makes his opponent like eat his dead parents in the pie. And yes, yes, that. and he's like yeah. drinking his tears. He's like yeah. mm, yummy tears. <laughs> Because I think I think the bully made him eat pubes, and then yeah. he's like he made him eat his own parents. He put his parents in the pie. Like this is so boring for people. I'm just trying to get to this yeah. like, video. Listen, all right, you gotta be slow. Right, you gotta hide in the grass. Hiding in the grass is boring, okay. but you know you gotta do what you gotta do to catch the gazelle. Yes. You gotta lie in wait. <laughs> Should I? Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to think of the closest celebrity. He looks like. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, dude, everything we're fucked now. Don't say that. Okay. God, who, oh, that's his hair? That's like a wig. I thought that was a fucking bike helmet. <laughs> that is actually really nice. Look at that. Speaking of Big Bang Theory. Yeah. yeah. That's Howard. Howard Bolowitz. <laughs> Dude, that is crazy cool. Wait, he makes like little videos of himself like talking. Like to- Talking about his fucking hair? No. <laughs> Dude, he gets his fucking hair CNC. That thing is perfect. Like they show some videos of him... So this is Mr. Fart, Fart Man? Yeah, like he likes to... Oh my god. I'll have to send you the link to the whole damn video. I, you know, I... Yeah, I mean, if you want. I, I'll skim around. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, these are... He looks kind of like Sean Penn. It's Who else? disturbing. Who else he look like? He had kind of like a Sean Penn cheekbones, sunken mm-hmm. in cheeks. I don't know. Yeah. That bull cut. Looked, that bull cut. Uh, I thought he was wearing is, a beanie. I thought he was wearing is, a um, fat beanie. It's called... It's from PP... Southeast Texas, uh, they're like predator poachers. It's fart fetish pred lets it all out when caught. Long Beach, California. You guys have to Let's look it, it up. it all out. Jesus Christ. It is. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, come on. They it know is, what they're doing. Uh, That's marketing. Yeah. 
That's gross. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, not great. Yeah, the car one was funny. Yeah. Yeah. There's we gotta a- get. To, I don't know. We gotta get the ball rolling. I've I've seen some people Holy on shit. Twitter. That, Do you like, know? Did you remember how Josh Wolf follows our Twitter now? Yeah, you told me about this. Yeah. Or uh, yeah. Uh, oh, that was well, cool. Well, if he's listening, let's go, Chetty. Yeah. yeah, he can come yeah. on anytime he wants to. Unless you just thought you were so funny, or thought Nick was funny, whoever was posting from the page, because that's the Twitter page, the uh, Twitter mm-hmm. page, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not about us at all. It's about Nick. It's about yes. Nick. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. So, why don't we get into what we're going to do tonight? Yeah, is yes. there murder? It's not it murder. paranormal? It is ghost. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. We are overdue for a ghost episode. I haven't really seen anything creepy so far in a while. I know. I'm due. Hang on. I got to <laughs> scroll up through my messages to Aside find my... Like movies. Because me and Jess don't ever shut up in our private text message thread. I did rewatch Eraserhead like twice mm-hmm. last week, though. I forgot to... I just think of that. like when the baby thing is like... Exp- like a... Yeah. It's like I don't ever want to eat oatmeal again. Mm-hmm. He's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you have my jewel? I love... I think I... Yeah, I oh, right my oh, jeez. My favorite... I, I love the dad. Where's my jewel? And where's my jewel? So not cool. Uh, and Razor had the fucking <laughs> the scene where he just goes to meet the family is so good. Like that's uh-huh. one of the, I love that whole scene of him just meeting the family. Because mm-hmm. you know you'd probably be nervous about that too. You meet someone's family. Yeah. But they it's just completely horrifying. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Alrighty. So what we will be doing is the most famous ghost in the United States. Yes. Mm-hmm. And this article is by Christina Chillin. On Ranker. What a like fucking a villain. Cool. Yeah. She chillin. The U.S. is full of countless ghost stories and reports of paranormal encounters. From ghosts dating back to colonial days to ghosts from the golden age of Hollywood, stories can be found in all corners of the country. Here are some of the most well-known haunts that are still quite active to this day. Read on and see which ones you want to add to your bucket list of spooky places to visit. Wait, hold on. Give Give me a boo in two seconds. Ooh. Okay. Hell yeah. Reverb? Yeah. <laughs> Sounded devious. <sighs> All right. So I shall kick us off with the first one. Uh, the Greenbrier Ghost in West Virginia. The story of the Greenbrier Ghost begins on January 23rd, 1897, with the discovery of a young woman, woman's body in her Greenbrier County, West Virginia home. Auntie Jones, the 11-year-old boy who helped, helped with the chores around the house, discovered Elva Zona Heaster's, what a name, body <laughs> at the bottom of the staircase in the log house she shared with her husband, Edward S. Shue. Another name. Shue and Heaster had only been married three months when this tragedy struck. Initially, authorities claimed Heaster died from a heart attack and Shue requested the coroner not further examine the body. Hmm. Don't look at him. Shu mm. then dressed Heaster in clothes that covered her entirely, including her neck, around which he tied a scarf. Suspicious. Soon after, he's, soon after Heaster's mother, Mary Jane, claimed her daughter claimed her daughter's ghost came to her and told her Shu had murdered her. Mary Jane managed to convince John A. Preston, a prosecutor, to look into the case. Heaster's body was exhumed, and medical examiners discovered her windpipe was crushed and her neck was broken. Mary Jane insisted her daughter had been murdered. After discovering Shu's second wife, Heaster was his third, died under mysterious circumstances. Shu was arrested and a trial was held. A jury found him guilty and sentenced him to life in prison. The trial was considered one of a kind and today a highway marker in Greenbrier reads, only known case in which a testimony from a ghost helped convict, uh, helped convict a murderer. Awesome. Spooky. Spooky indeed. All right, this one is John Petter in California. Petter? I hardly know her. (laughs) (laughs) The RMS Queen Mary has been permanently docked in the harbor of Long Beach, California since 1967. The ship has the distinction of being one of the greatest cruise ships built and also one of the most haunted. Paranormal investigation teams from all over the world have visited the ship to investigate. 
Officially, there are approximately 49 deaths that occurred aboard the ship. Reports of scary occurrences have been uh, have been come from all areas of the ship, from the engine room to the swimming pool area. Many of the deaths were very gruesome. Two of the most famous include the deaths of crew member John Petter and senior second officer W.E. Stark. Stark, who died after after he accidentally drank acid he thought was gin. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Petter, an 18-year-old fireman, was crushed by an iron mechanical door on July 10th, 1966. Yike. Yeah. Yike. A single Just yike. Just one of them. <laughs> yeah, I told you about that, though, right? Like the Gary McFarlane thing. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? You know, like the Samba guy that I like from the 60s. He, he died at a gin bar because someone apparently over dosed him with methadone Jeez, really no. i'm pretty sure it was like they pour, for some i don't know if, how they mix that up but someone poured know. him a shot of like methadone if i'm not mistaken that's and he overdosed. yeah what? what the fuck it's crazy you, know, you just you, you peel the label off both bottles and you fucking mix them up like a cartoon <laughs> like just whoop, yeah whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. it's like, it's like <laughs> i'd be so pissed it's like that conundrum. I'm going to be so pissed when I die. <laughs> yeah, well, we were, so we're, mad I'm dead. He's coming back to give her on what for. Yeah, I'm coming back. It's like that It's like that conundrum. I spiked one of our drinks, but I don't remember yeah. which one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Princess Bride. Yeah. Have, I, have you ever Ugh. seen or like heard of the movie Climax? Did, I, did we talk about this? I have this? not. I don't think. The movie is, is by Gaspar Noe. Do you know who that is? Like he made like Into the Void. Mm-mm. I don't mm-hmm. think he's the one that did Requ- Requiem for a Dream. I forget who did that. But uh, the movie Cl- Climax, there's like this big get together. And it's uh-huh. like a bunch of people and they're all like mingling and dancing. And then this chick like spikes the punch bowl with something. And mm-hmm. you see everyone drink the punch and then everyone starts slowly tripping out and then going insane. But you're seeing the movie from like a perspective of a totally sober person. Really? And oh, okay. it, the whole movie is everyone like freaking the fuck mm-hmm. out. Like literally just freaking out. It's not even like... It's not even like a normal movie. It's almost like hard to watch. Like everyone is literally fucking losing mm-hmm. their mind and like running around. There's something about drug crazy, scenes dude. in movies that I'm like, ugh, I can't do it. Yeah. And like, the music is by like Aphex Twin. Like it's very unnerving music. It's fucked Yeah. Up. Like I don't like chaotic, like a chaotic feeling. Like, oh, it is. Like even like in Goodfellas, like towards the end when like Henry's like, oh my God, the helicopters are following yeah, me. Yeah, he's looking he's out the windshield. out and stuff. I'm like, I can't. Yeah. I'm like, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. You know, now I got to turn my back on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, well. Legend claims the ship was conducting an emergency drill in which the watertight doors closed automatically, and unfortunately, Petter didn't make it through in time. Since then, guests have reported seeing the apparition of a young man in coveralls near the door where Petter lost his life. Odd sounds, lights, and cold spots are some of the many paranormal phenomena that occur on a daily basis aboard the ship. Visitors can join specific haunted tours and aimed at visiting the most spiritually active spots aboard the ship. Ooh. Which, that, that'd be fun. That's crazy. We should go. If I we saw should. coveralls fucking floating in the dark, mm-hmm. get real. Like Michael Myers. Just, just coveralls? <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. nothing? Yeah, that's all I can see. That's all you can see. Yeah. All uh, right. And number three is the gray man of Pauly's Island in South Carolina. Pauly's Island, South Carolina, is one of the oldest summer resorts towns on the East Coast. Since it's located along the coast, Pauly's Island is especially vulnerable to storms, and legend says the Gray Man has appeared prior to every major hurricane that has struck the area for, for the last 200 years. People who, who see the Gray Man claim he appeared dressed in all gray clothing and warned them to leave the island. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> the- <Saw> that racket. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to bed, Gary. Hey, what was that noise? Okay. Do we need to give Gary more Benadryl? Someone, yeah. Someone cooking? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the gray man's origin is thought to be tied to a tragedy that struck a young couple. A young woman was waiting for her fiancé to return home to her, and while the young man made it back to the island, he decided to take a shortcut. Unbeknownst to him, the shortcut would lead him through a patch of quicksand, which quickly sucked in both him and his horse. His... Never-ending story? Yeah. <laughs> a tray you. Yeah. No, he was a tray you. Who was mm-hmm. a tray you? The boy. the boy. Yeah. What was the, the horse's name? No, it was the heart. No, no. Was, it, was uh, the horse's name Artem- Artemis? God damn it. Can I see your vape? That'll jog my memory. Hand that over. 
what was the horse's name in Never Ending The white Story? horse that goes, that plummets, sinks to the bottom of the bog. Okay. Oh. oh. Piper, keep reading. His... <laughs> His manservant was riding behind him and witnessed the incident, but was unable to save him. The young woman was heartbroken. Uh, she claimed that one day she was walking along the beach when a figure who looked like her fiancé appeared and told her to leave the island at once because she was in danger. The young woman and her family heeded the warning and went to their inland home. A storm hit the coast that night, destroying most of the homes, but sparing the one belonging to the woman and her family. Since then, locals believe that the gray man continues to warn others of impending danger. Ooh. 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 The horse's name is Artax. Yeah, Ar- Artax. Carfax. Yeah, Carfax. Cars for kids. Artax. Carfax history report. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to say bag. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> how many so how many fucking places are haunted in there's a lot a lot what about like uh is there like a chicago that we're, we'll get let's like let's a, see where this takes like us. a haunted trap Maybe. house <laughs> that'd be fucking crazy uh the bad- <clears throat> excuse me the bidet <laughs> the haunted bidet. the word of bidet the haunted bidet, the haunted bidet. Uh, <laughs> you don't you can't control how fast it comes out it just... winds at the night <laughs> No, no, instead of water, it just shoots plasma out. Like, <laughs> uh. Ectoplasm. <laughs> like, uh. You ever see the old photos of that shit? Ectoplasm? Yeah. Like, a ha- you ever watch A Haunting in Connecticut? I have not made it through that whole movie. It's, it's something about when he puts his hand on the pillar and his me- hand goes, and I gag and I turn it off every time. That's a good scene. Yeah. But I watched it recently. I and the fucking editing, man, in that movie is so on crack. Like the really? ed- if you watch it again, like it, good it, or bad? No, bad. It's like so speedy. Like the editing is so often. It's really. I noticed it probably the twenty minutes. I'm gonna in, need like, someone to be like, "This is gonna be gross. Cover your eyes." Yeah, just because like, I, I, there's something about like gross things. Don't peek. Can't... Okay. You yeah. peek. I know you peek. I'm a peeker. You, you think peek. I'm a peeker? You peek. I like to watch scary things and stuff like through my fingers. I'm See? not gonna because I'm no, but I'm not gonna get the full force. You're not gonna get that yeah. out of me. You're not gonna fully jump scare me if I can feel it coming. I get it. Well, my attention span is cooked, so I'm probably just like looking <laughs> at my phone anyway. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. so like, number four, <laughs> the Madonna of Bachelors Grove in Illinois. Mm-hmm. The Bachelors Grove Cemetery is located near the Rubio Woods Forest Preserve, roughly 25 miles outside of Chicago. The cemetery is the oldest in Cook County area, and according to many, it's also the most haunted. Mm. Visitors have reported encounters with a variety of specters, including a woman in a white dress, blue and red orbs of light, a man and his horse, and a disappearing farmhouse. Blue and red a farm, orbs of a light. A disappearing house? A whole disappearing house. That's fucking weird. That's cool. I've never heard of that. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, the woman in white, in particular has appeared in many visitors' photographs, all of whom insist no one was around when they took the picture. Many of the theories persist persist regarding whom she may be. But two of the most popular include a woman buried far away, but whose baby was buried at Bachelors, and the spirit of a hit-and-run victim who died close to the cemetery and was buried there. Mm-hmm. The cemetery was in use from 1834 to 18, or till 1989, and today it's open for visitors from sunrise to sunset. Many believe the vandalism, uh, the vandalism the cemetery has seen over the years has caused further unrest to the spirits there, making it a very active place for paranormal activity. Hmm. I was going to say, dude, I thought about it. Like, imagine dying, like, mm-hmm. in a car accident. Mm-hmm. And you're walking around as a ghost, like, where's my fucking car? Holy shit, I have like a video to show you. Uh, I'm sorry. This, no, it's okay. I'm s- but side, you know what I mean, major though? sidebar. I will show it to you. It's like, it, same kind of situation, exactly that. Mm-hmm. That's. Okay. You're That's walking crazy. around, you don't even know you're dead. You're just like, where's my car? I, 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 I literally just had it. I just had it parked. The ghost right was at the junkyard looking for its car. That's like that's like that's that. so fucking creepy. Dude. That's I'll, I'll, yeah. Ooh. That's like that one episode of Supernatural. They're like they're they come across this like lady, um, and like her friend, and they're trying to help them like cross over the afterlife. Uh, like if I'm recalling the episode correctly, they're like trying to help them cross over to the afterlife by like recreating the car accident or something so that they mm. could like. Just, like, cope with what they went through so that they can move on. Almost like what happened. Yeah. Like they just want to let, mm-hmm. like, almost unfinished business kind of thing. Yeah. 
But it reminds you of that? Mm-hmm. Like the junkyard thing or well, yeah, what I'm saying? Uh, the junkyard thing, I think. Because I remember seeing one and it was like a low frame rate video. Uh, and it was like a circular... It was like a figure that looked like it was like dancing in a circle. And it was like a low frame rate, like a, you know, like a fucking convenience store uh-huh. camera would have. And it's a, it, it was fucking freaky. Like the man. Serbian that ghost dancing shit. lady. All right, can uh, we just take a quick sidebar? I have to yeah, show you this. Yeah, she video wasn't, dan- it wasn't even like a dance. It was just like this, you I'm know, because the frame rate was so it. low. It just okay. looked like this ghost was kind of spinning in a circle, almost like playing Ring Around okay. the Rosie with mm-hmm. itself. I don't remember which show it was on. It's if you guys look it up, it's called Puckett's Ghost. P U C K E T T apostrophe S Puckett. Ghost. It's um. Let me show you. Uh, I'm da, da, ready da, for this. Da. This might this might jumble my circuits. That could change your mind. This is what a woman saw while working at an Oklahoma car impound lot earlier this month. It was all caught on a. Yes, this is the tape. one. You can see the figure circling around. Now the woman told another what the hell? to go out and check it out. Actually, there wasn't nobody back there. The wind was still that night. And our alarm was on, so nobody jumps the fence back there. I believe this lady. on the lot that night were involved in fatal accidents. A paranormal investigator says it's possible the mysterious figure could have been one of those spirits searching for its car. We'll let you draw your own conclusions. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. That's a wild... I want to know what that guy thinks. What is the host of that... Like... <laughs> you want to know what I think? The they never shit. tell you what they think. They always say they're they're just they yeah. your best interest at heart. Okay. But I saw one. I think that was like more into it. Like a young woman was killed and she was wearing overalls or something that that's night. So and crazy. That's, it, there was more to it. But uh, anywho. Yeah, that's bananas. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it was looking for its car. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just because I remember just seeing that video. Car number five. And I don't know oh, where right. they were. They where they were. So number five. I have to scroll down again. The thing glitched. Um, Crisp. hell yeah. <laughs> um, number five is Bobby Darnell in New Mexico. Uh, the chemo theater can be found in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It opened in 1927 and like many old buildings, it has been the site of several tragic accidents. This includes the death of Bobby Darnell, a six year old who was visiting the theater with some of his friends. Bobby was at the concession stand when a boiler located beneath the area exploded, killing him. Since then, theater goers and workers have reported seeing a little boy running around and playing pranks on people. Bobby is especially fond of playing tricks on performers while they're on stage. To appease him, they leave out treats like donuts and candy. Tales of the performances going haywire because because people either take the treats or forget to leave them have become common over the years. Another ghost frequently spotted in the theater is that of a young woman wearing a bonnet who simply walks around the theater minding her own business. No one knows who she is or why she's there, but she appears content strolling the halls alone. The theater is still in use today. Crazy. I'll tell you what, when I worked at the movie theater, the top room is like one of my most favorite ones. Have you guys ever been like the top where all the projectors are? Um, no. Yeah, it was just very dark and quiet up there. I've been up there before. The marquee one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll never forget this. I went up and someone needed change and we couldn't find one of the managers. And it was like this old guy. It was like really nice. I think his name was Mike at the time. Mm-hmm. And I go up in the top because that was the last place I remember him being. I go up. He's fucking sleeping. Are you kidding? He, I remember he was sleeping with his legs out in the chair and I woke him up and his eyes just like open. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. We need change. We got like a line of people. Yeah. And then he came downstairs, but it was so funny. Mm-hmm. Just up there sleeping in the dark by himself. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> All right, He's man. like, what do you want? <laughs> Fuck. He's like, hey, that was a fun job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So the next one is Resurrection Mary in Illinois. Mm. Chicago's history is rich and with dark occurrences, so it's no wonder the city has plenty of ghost stories to go around. One of these is that of a ghost known as Resurrection Mary. Mary's ghost is believed to belong to a young woman who was killed in a hit-and-run accident while she was walking home from a party in the 1920s. Countless people have seen the go- seen her ghost along Archer Avenue in Willow Springs, an area about 30 minutes from downtown Chicago. Mary fits the hitchhiker-slash-woman-in-white archetype. Legend claims that at night she walks along the road in her white gown and asks strangers for rides. Those who pick her up say she disappears into thin air before reaching her requested destination. 
Uh, she uh, Some also claim they've seen Mary's ghost in nightclubs on the south side of Chicago mm-hmm. and that they've even shared a dance with her, only noting something was off by her extremely cold hands. Ooh. This has led people to describe her as having cold hands but a warm heart. Oh, how sweet. Her name, Resurrection Mary, comes from the Resurrection Cemetery located close to the site where many believe she was killed. It's also the site where she's allegedly buried and where she frequently asked drivers to drop her off. Aw. That's some spooky shit, dude. It is. Uh, right. Number seven is Peg Entwistle from in California. Around the world, the, wor- the word Hollywood conjures images of fame, fortune, and flashing lights. The actual Hollywood, however, has a long history of tragedies that don't often get splashed on the front of the front page of tabloid magazines. One of these one of these tragedies is that of Peg Entwistle, and it is tied to the Hollywood sign itself. Oh yes, this is one of my favorite ones. Yes. Awesome. Peg uh, Twistle. What's her name? Peg Entwistle. Ent. Ent. Ent like, whistle. Ent and then whistle without the H. Interesting. Um. um Around the late 1920s, Ent Whistle traveled to Hollywood with the dream of becoming a famous actress. The future seemed bright for Ent Whistle when she earned a role in the film 13 Women. However, a higher up later decided to cut the part. Ent Whistle had been cast to play a lesbian, a very controversial role in the 1930s. Understandably, understandably Ent Whistle was devastated. On September 16th, 1932, Ent Whistle climbed a maintenance ladder up up to the top of the Hollywood signs letter H and jumped 50 feet to her death. The next day, her body was found with a note that read, I am afraid. I am a coward. I am sorry for everything. If I had done this a long time ago, it would have saved a lot of pain. P.E. Since her passing, many visitors to the Hollywood sign and park rangers patrolling the hills have cited her alleged ghost. Legend says the smell of gardenia perfume permeates the the air at night before a sighting. Smell of fettuccine. (laughs) (laughs) Italian ghost. Those who, those who have seen her describe her as having a forlorn expression, likely due to the sad end she met in the very place where her dreams came crashing down. Literally. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How many people have actually like, uh, you know, done away with themselves at the Hollywood sign? I don't know. Uh, didn't it's... they find someone's head up there? They found like the head of someone. I would. There. I would be surprised if they haven't. <laughs> I <laughs> saw. To be frank, seems I don't like a know. good spot to put uh-huh. it. I don't know. On a lighter note, though, about the Hollywood sign, I saw um, uh, a fucking twitter post the other day and someone put flags up on the letters to make it look like it said hollyweed instead i feel like, like i saw yeah so I, I silly saw, I saw about that. <laughs> hollyweed hollyween hollyween or hollyweed hollyweed oh wade L- like, like the za uh, i like, I like gotcha. saying wade gotcha huh i like saying wade wade oh. smoking wade weed oh, okay seaweed <laughs> All right, we're going to do uh, number eight, the Bell Witch in Tennessee. The Bell, Bell Witch? Wi- the Bell Witch. Okay. Mm. Not the Blair Witch. Bell. The Bell Witch. Okay. Okay. She's got a gong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The gong witch. <laughs> we're going to go on. Oh, um, I swear to God. I'm like gong with the witch. Like <laughs> Gong with the witch. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay, thank you. The Bell Witch haunting has spurred people's imaginations for centuries and has led to many movies and documentaries. The story behind the U.S.'s most famous haunting starts with a man named John Bell and his family moving to a farm in Robertson County, Tennessee in 1804. For the first 13 years on the farm, the Bell family lived peacefully. They all changed in the sum- That all changed in the summer in 1817. However, <laughs> at first I missed this. At first, as soon as they all changed, you know, they're, yeah. like, they're all like, yeah, they they're all going, changed. They're, they're all going through their emo phase. Yeah, they changed. Everything was I'm all sorry. right till the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> yeah. All right, that all changed in the summer. Did you snort? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, it, was a, it was a mic issue. It was a glitch. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that all changed in the summer of 1817. However, when the family began seeing strange creatures on their land and hearing odd noises in their home. The sounds reportedly escalated from bumps and knocks to actual voices that spoke directly to the family members. Ooh. Then Kevin. 
<laughs> Kevin. Yeah, I'm just yeah. It's like a it's like a hinter Kaifax situation. Yeah. Yeah. The entity would start conversations about religion and even predict the future. I'm like, oh, you're so fucking boring. <laughs> Jesus Christ. John and his youngest daughter, Betsy, were especially tormented by the entity, who came to be known as the Bell Witch. John would often hear the witch threaten him directly while Betsy was beaten into unconsciousness. Jesus. Oh, oh my God. God. By the witch? Yeah. I'm going to do I this guess. to you. <laughs> Beating it. Oh, what my God. Fuck? John died in 1820 and many attributed his death to the Bell Witch, who never stopped tormenting him. The entity allegedly came and went for decades, often letting the family know it would be gone for several years, but would eventually return. Oh, often letting the family know. Okay, by letting them know. I'm like, wait, did they leave a note? Wait, That's hold on. Cr- that reminds me of a scene from The Sixth Sense where they mm-hmm. lock um, Haley Joel Osment's character. What's, oh. what's his name in the movie? Uh, uh, was it Kevin? It wasn't Kevin. It wasn't what Kevin. the fuck's his name? I don't know. Um, Joey. No, it wasn't He's Joey. He's Chandler. The little boy, right? The little yeah. boy. What was the name? What was the little boy's name in The Sixth Sense? Come on, Siri. Kevin. It's not Kevin. Uh, Cole Sear. Cole. There. Cole. Yeah. All right. Anywho. But the scene where he's in the, they lock him in the closet and he gets his ass kicked by the ghost. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he comes out unconscious. Yeah, he has scratches That's on his back. That's scary, dude. That is scary. Uh, to this day, the property is a hotbed of paranormal activity with many people experiencing odd things on the land. Photography also shows odd lights, mists, and even entities that weren't visible to the human eye. Ooh. Ooh. Number nine is Silver Heels in Colorado. Buckskin Joe <laughs> was a bustling mining town with a population of around 5,000 during the early area d- during the early era of the Colorado Gold Rush. The town was home to various dance halls, saloons, and bars. According to a legend, one day, a beautiful young woman dressed head to toe in black arrived in town. She sought out a job at buck bill's dance hall where her beauty made her especially popular with the dance hall patrons it's there she received her received her nickname of silver heels a reference to the shiny heel shiny silver heels she often wore men from all over town would come to see her perform and try to get her attention Um, The town sadly changed, however, when a smallpox epidemic swept through the region. Silverheels stopped dancing on stages and began tending to the sick. The disease had almost completely finished ravaging the town when Silverheels fell ill. The only person she allowed in her home was the elderly woman named Aunt Martha, who helped her through the sickness. One night after Silverheels was past the worst of the illness, she got dressed up and bid Aunt Martha good night. Aunt Martha was the last person to see her alive. Silverheels disappeared. The townsfolk organ the townsfolk f- the townsfolk organized an intense search, but no trace of her was ever found. Silverheels' story continued, however, when soon after her disappearance, a figure began appearing at the Buckskin Joe Cemetery. People began claiming a woman dressed in all black would appear and walk from tombstone to tombstone, placing what seemed to be flowers on each one. They believe this could be Silverheels' ghost comforting those who died from the disease. While Buxin, uh, while Buckskin Joe is a ghost town today, the cemetery still stands, as does the story of Silver Heels and her ghostly apparition. So I don't even know what happened to her. She just disappeared. They, and then, yeah, she just like wandered off. I guess. I think she just yeah. died in like a canyon. Maybe I don't know. Or like, did she owe anyone money? I don't know. Because like, I mean, was she all snotted up? Like, would someone really want to kidnap her? And like, she's like sick. smallpox. She's like, like coughing in the mm-hmm. in the carriage. It's like cough, stinking it up, coughing Did it up. Did you ever watch Deadwood? No, I heard of it. Oh, it's really good. What's the, the other show? Silver Heels gave me Dirty Dancing vibes. I th- was thinking oh, yeah. that too. I'm like, yeah. I still want Wait, those Wait, did you shoes. say Westwood? Deadwood. Oh, Deadwood. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen Westwood? No. It's like that weird mo- It's like that weird show with like, there's like time period towns where you can go to a town and it's like set in a time period. There's like, hmm. like robots, but a lot of it's like a Western. Okay. It's kind of like that. But isn't Deadwood, is that also Western? Yes, yeah. it's about Deadwood, uh, 
what the fuck? Uh, cemetery? Is it cemetery? No, Deadwood. Uh, it's Deadwood, like the one of like the it's a cowboy town. Okay, it's like one of those classic. And I towns. just jumped ahead somewhere. It's got a tavern. Yeah. Dirt road. Yeah, I'm just trying to go back to where it all jumped ahead. Um, My sister's been playing Red Dead Redemption Two. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy fun. about that game? If you ride your horse up into the cold mountains, mm-hmm. it's it's balls will shrivel up. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't know if I could say it outright. Uh, it's seriously crazy. Of, of all the things we've said, you can't. Uh, yeah, I guess so. They shrivel okay. though, isn't that crazy? That's crazy. that's that's wild. And then, and then what happens when you go into the warmth? What do you think happens? They drop. They drop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's the attention to detail. That's the kind of respect that's, I want. I like that. That's, that's I saw like, realism. Yeah. I saw like a game glitch bug where like the NPCs will fly around like the birds that you have to shoot down and like that's terrifying. Dude, so yeah, the game, funniest like, glitch I've ever man. seen on a video game was when Madden. It was like years ago now. Uh-huh. They there was like, a glitch where one of the players was literally like the size. Like he was like an inch big. Everyone else was like normal size, but he was tiny. <laughs> His model was like this big. Yes, what the was, fuck? He looked like oh my god. Was he freaking out? Oh, like, it was, was so it funny. I remember, like, Conan, like, did a thing about it, like, on the show. It was so funny. It's so good. It's so funny. All right, yeah, so let's see. Uh, number 10, Charles B. Rosna in New York. Katie and Maggie Fox were young girls when they moved into an old cottage in New York's Hydesville Memorial Park in 1848. The cottage has had a history of paranormal behavior, which pushed many families to leave. The Fox family, however, took a different approach. On March 31st, 1848, as the sisters were going to bed, the knocking and bumping noises began, as they usually did. The only difference that night was the sisters decided to communicate with whatever was causing the sounds. That night, the girls determined the spirit belonged to a man named Charles B. Rosna. The spirit was able to tell them he was murdered at the property and that his body was buried in the cellar. After that, they attempted to find Rosna's body in the cellar, but flooding in the area made this impossible. The Fox sisters continued communicating with the entity and grew to became uh, to become famous mediums. Many now consider them the first modern spiritualists. Decades later, in 1904, bones were discovered in the cottage's cedar, uh, cellar walls. Uh, Dude, today, stir yeah, Come today, in. today the home is open to visitors, and the thumping noises continue. Ooh. I love a good thump. <laughs> Who doesn't? Fuck. Number 11 I is... Like a, a ghost. Yeah. Like a, ooh, it's, who's mm-hmm. there? Mm-hmm. What's that? Oh. Ooh. Okay. I love the Mitch Hedberg bit. <laughs> it's like, it like, sometimes I play music too loud. Sometimes the neighbors don't like it too much. They knock on the wall. And I like to mess with them. I like to say, go around. <laughs> there is no door there. <laughs> I miss him. I miss him, too. I love him Mm -hmm. so much. Number 11 is Jean Lafitte in Louisiana. Uh, Jean Lafitte was a notorious pirate who lived in New Orleans, Louisiana, in the early 1800s. His smuggling operation catered to whatever his clientele desired, ranging from spices and jewels to enslaved people. Lafitte was well known in the New Orleans area and often catered to some of the wealthiest and most powerful people in the city. Lafitte also owned an operation. Lafitte also owned and operated a blacksmith shop that's still open to the public this day. Many believe Lafitte hid treasure somewhere in the shop, though no one has found it. This might be why the store workers and visitors report seeing a pair of red eyes staring up the staring up at them from the cracks in the basement walls. And out of the fireplace. Fuck that. Others have claimed a full figure <laughs> apparition of Lafitte himself appears in the halls if a federal officer or a Frenchman enters the store. Why a Frenchman specifically? <laughs> Is it because he's French? He hates him. Yeah, he hates can't like. Stand cops are the French. Yeah. <laughs> There's two kinds of people I can't stand. It's French and cops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lafitte is also said to appear in other areas around the city, including Pirate Alley near St. Louis Cathedral and the old Absinthe House, where he made his notorious deals. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Is, that, mm-hmm. is that in France? Uh, no, no it's Louisiana, New Orleans. The Absinthe House? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. The Peg's Ghost in Alabama. The tale of the Peg's Ghost legend dates back to Bright Night. Oh, fuck me. Okay. You're being a little closer. 
Yeah. Huh? Bring your mic a little closer. Okay. Just so it sounds a little intimate. Get everyone to lean forward. Okay. Let me just adjust myself anyway, because yeah. I'm sitting on my foot. Hamburger meat. Ugh, there Look, we where go. you get another Charlie horse? I know. <laughs> Charlton. Or, yeah, another, another Charles horse. Charles, Charles horse. Charles Manson. <laughs> yeah. That's what I call the bunny. Charles Manson? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I cleaned his cage today. It's fucking disgusting. All right. Anyhow. It's almost like he was, yeah, dead bodies. Just <laughs> smells like oh. shitting dead bodies. He's just, yeah, he's just a conspiracy to, for violence. You got to get him a Sharon Tate. Oh, Sharon? no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Right. Weren't they in cahoots? No. Uh, no, she was a victim. Oh. It's Sadie Mae. Oh, oh Sadie Mae. Yeah. Or Squeaky <laughs> Fromms. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know much about him either, so maybe you guys will have to do Or that, Ted so, Watson. Or Tex, Tex Watson. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I don't know shit. You don't know, really? I don't know. I know fuck all. Oh. We okay, gotta, well, we can... We can we'll I know the... We can, maybe we can do a quick little overview of that yes. one day for you. Yeah. All righty. Let's see here. Peg's ghost in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Woo! All the right. Fucking rodeo. <laughs> All right, the tail of the which pegs. horse you betting on? <laughs> the one with those tight balls. Yeah, the one with the cold balls that shrivel up. <laughs> when you enter a cave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you enter a, a the cold one that keeps cave. it high and tight. Yeah, I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> don't, don't. That's the enough reason to buy the game. The already wet from the water. I okay. Know. All right, the tale of Peg's ghost legend dates back to a bright night in the spring of 1862 in Cahaba, Alabama. As the story goes, one night a young couple was out walking on the grounds behind Colonel C.C. Pegg's home. As they wove in and out of the thick cedars, a glowing white ball of light appeared in front of them. The ball darted back and forth, moving close to them before moving back. Curious and confused, the young man attempted to touch the light. Oh, I'm sorry. Only for only for huh. it to disappear. <laughs> what the? I'm, uh, it's, uh, never mind. So he wants to touch something and then it disappeared? No, like, I just, yeah, I don't know. Colonel Pegg's... <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Okay. Colonel Pegg's was the leader of the 5th Alabama Regiment. The sighting of this light continued soon after he was killed in battle. Colonel Pegg's often returned. Is it because the name is inappropriate? No. <laughs> no. You know what started my laughing? Like, is when, like, I said, like, the young man. I, to, I just thought of, like, Zoe de Chanel and, like, New Girl. She's like, young man. <laughs> yeah. like, she's like, I've never like seen a, that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. I've heard good things, though. It's so good. Okay. Da, 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 Anyone attempted to touch it, eventually, blah, 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 blah. You know, we're just going to, you know, all right, that was it. The end. The end, yeah. 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 Fuck that one. It's, it, it's, it was sleepaway camp. Yeah, the, there was, there was ghosts there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, that was. <laughs> Cahaba's Haunted. Caha- yeah, Cahaba <laughs> by Colonel. Peggy's Ghost. Bring your fucking shotgun. By <laughs> Colonel Peggs. Jesus. Colonel Peggs. Yeah. Jesus. He's like, he has peg legs. It's P-E-G-U-E-S. Pegs. Pegs. Peg. Pug. Pugoose. Pugoose. <laughs> it's pronounced Pugoose. Pug- uh, yeah, pug- imagine he's like, you fucking bitch. Like, he's standing right over my shoulder. He's probably giving me 20. It's like, you <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. When you said number nine before, I thought of uh, Revolution Number Nine by the Beatles. You Why did I it? know you were going to say that? You've heard that, right? <gasps> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Number nine. What number you nine. You think Paul's dead? You think uh, Paul's a clone? No. You don't think Paul McCartney no. died in a car crash? I think, and I think all of Avril- them are dead. <laughs> no. No. Have you seen Ringo? He looks sprightly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's very spry. Yeah. 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 He's What do they call that? There's two different Spring Beatles chicken. biopics coming out. Really? Yes. Because uh-huh. there was the Peter Jackson Beatles thing. And and my daughter told me, she's like, uh, you know, there's guess who's going to be casting it? I'm like, please tell me fucking Barry from Saltburn. Mm. And she goes, yeah, he's Ringo. And one of them, I'm like, I fucking knew it. He's going to be Ringo? He's going to be Ringo. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, all right. Yeah, I called that. I can see that for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But like two were coming out within like the same year. Mm-hmm. But then again, they did. They did we, Bob Marley recently. That's not overdoing it, though. No? It's, it's not because we had two Elvis movies within the same yeah, year. Yeah, true. Which Priscilla still amazing. There was an Elvis mm-hmm. movie. There was the yeah. There was an Elvis movie, and then oh, there yeah, was it was Austin Butler. Yeah, my fucking yeah. daft. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, you I, are. I, I wasn't looking for an answer for that one. Oh, it was rhetorical. It was. Sorry. Yeah. Does that mean you don't have to answer it? Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of hypothetical. 
No, let's hypothet- say hypothetically, I yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was the Bob Marley movie, and then did that come out yet? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Kima went. Oh, I heard all right things. I didn't uh-huh. hear anything. I didn't hear it was. Terrible. I heard nothing about it at all. God <laughs> bless, bless you. you. Thank you. Live sneeze on camera. She's, a, she's allergic to Jamaicans. Uh, I'm, every time I mention Bob I'm Marley, sorry. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I don't know. I could have swore there was one other movie they're making that was like, oh, here we go. Here's another fucking biopic. Yeah. He's gonna make everyone's gonna have their own movie. Where's your movie? Where's my movie? movie? My movie would be boring. Yeah, yeah like my la- movie would be boring as it shit. It would be a lady like <laughs> rotting in bed watching yeah. TV with yeah. her cats. What if it has really tense music and it makes everything feel well? Really I am sinister. always anxious, so it actually yeah. probably would be very on brand. You know, like people would be watching mine and they would be like, "Damn, does this bitch ever leave her fucking house?" Yeah, yeah. Like, that would work. She plays Sims like with herself as the character. If you oh, lay, like, if you laid there like kind of like that <laughs> chick from uh, like, American Psycho, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. like, the, like and uh, then play the Twin Peaks music, yeah, that would, it would make total sense. Like, I, don't know, I get like the Beatles, I get Elvis, but, but like, what about like Roy Orbison? Do you, like, yes, his life story, like he went through some shit. I don't know much mm-hmm. about him, but I watched Blue Velvet not too long ago, and oh, like his music was like the whole time. Oh, he's incredible! Like yeah. he's one of my like most favorite. Yeah, that movie was fucking bizarre. Or like, uh, Mm -hmm. I guess they can't really make a, like, like, you know, like Phil Spector, the guy with the crazy hair who shot Lana Clarkson in the face. What? Yeah. The Playboy. What is this? Yeah. Yeah. Is this a singer? No, this is a music producer, but he was like responsible for, like Ronnie Spector from the Ronettes was married to him. Mm And so it's a whole He was like. He was a producer? He produced a lot. He was a producer and he produced a lot of like super famous music he was like involved in like the playboy stuff and like one of the uh bunnies i think her she was probably uh, like yeah. a set. i think she was like a set her her name was lana clarkson and uh he like invited her over to his house one night and like she i i think if i'm recalling the case correctly she was drunk or whatever and they like got into some altercation or whatever and he like shot her point blank in the face mm-hmm. with with like a gun and Did it claim was self defense or some crazy shit um they tried to i think right i think so yeah. i don't, i have i don't i don't know it's been what a the long fuck time was this? yeah this was got did he 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 died i, I think. think so let me look it up what the um, fuck man this I heard... happened and i want to say the but his late hair is so ugly nine, i want to say something there it's or i don't know yeah but it's uh I've never heard of that. He crazy. died uh Jan sixteenth, twenty twenty one in French Camp, California. Mm-hmm. What did he look like? Let me see. So he, did he have crazy hair? If you saw his picture, you'd be like, I've seen him before. You he think so? looks yeah, for sure. chaotic, to put it nicely though. <laughs> fucking Oh my god. Like <laughs> mad scientist hair. Yeah. That's like fucking Will Ferrell in semi pro. Yeah. There's a story about him and like the Ramones and stuff. Like he like held them. Two hundred twenty twenty four well, hours like, ago. Well, there's a song called by Roar called Christmas Kids and it's about like literally like him abusing yeah, Ronnie was, from the from the Rockets. Like Ronettes. From the Ronettes. Mm-hmm. Rockets. Dun, Christmas dun, special. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's, I don't know. Anyhow. Can, can. Whatever. They probably do it. They do. They probably they do. They do like stuff. I've seen uh, them in the line. I'd hurt like myself stuff. if I even tried. Like uh, the king can? Like the kick your legs up that high. Yeah. Uh, we'll have time to the song. Like, we'll slow the speed down. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do my stretches. Yeah. I was going to say slow. Yeah. Slow I would pull a muscle for sure. That's crazy though. So that guy, is he in jail? He's dead now? Mm-hmm. Fuck. He does look familiar though. And she was used to, actually. She used to be in movies too. She was actually Lana Clarkson was actually in Fast Times. Really? As she has a cameo as mm-hmm. the teacher's wife at like when they're at like the prom or okay. the, at the dance at the end of the year. Like, damn, dude. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, what crazy. There's on? a lot. There's so many. There's so many like weird. Yeah. Like cases. And yeah. Stuff. Then this is like, her, when I say I want to kill someone, I'm talking about he, in a cartoon, like hitting mm-hmm. them with a cartoon mallet. And that's Lana. Yeah, she looks kind of familiar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fucked. How long have we been going? Five minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's been... Uh, the night is young. Oh, I scrolled yeah. through two and pictures, and there's just huh? straight up crime scene photos of her. An hour and no, nine. there's not. Yeah, there is. Uh, you want to see, see? I always do. Are you fucking kidding? Like, straight up. Like, that's the third, like, third fourth picture Does anybody on know Google. What, what caliber? What did he use? Is that... Her entire face was gone. Okay. Like, was it? I mean, it was point blank. It was probably not the best, but depending on what he used. Oh, and show him that one. Show him that picture. Yeah. 
too. So we'll go back up. So up. this is and the after crime this, can you show me like a picture of like a like a cat with its head stuck in bread, just as a palate cleanser? Of course I can. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I'll find so something cute. Look at like a, I want a chimp eating an orange or something. These are the crime scene photos. Damn, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Yeah. This is crazy. Like her entire face is kind of like I doubt gone. she fell into this chair. She's yeah. probably sitting no, in the chair. No, she slumped back. Like she like the force of That's what happened. That's crazy, man. Yeah. And did he try to take a plea bargain? I mean, what you know, does anybody know what happened with the trial? Um, That's I fucking can't extreme. Remember what happened with the trial? But um hang on. Um Yeah, dude. Cuz this is what the asshole looked like like earlier on in life like right oh my god yeah. looking like wrong turn me too yeah. oh yeah all right well here this is from one of my favorite people ever jamantha okay our buddy here is a cat right right okay what's he doing let me show you ah i keep tripping well you better be careful i know we're gonna go Look, black this, 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 whole, cat, this whole network's gonna go dark this cat is ready to go to school okay He's just ready to go, dude. Oh He's like, I'm gonna miss homeroom. Where does he think he's going? He's going to school. He's too young for school, is he? I don't know. He sends me cat videos all the time. Like this one. The fuck is that? Is oh my god. Word? What is that's a dust mite. That is a little black cat. That looks like that a little is just critter. Mowing for that's a, a crate. treat. And a golden retriever behind it, just like, what's going on? Oh my god, he's Dude, screaming! That looks like a little, like a little soot. I know. Cat. A little chimney sweep. Yeah. Like, look at that. There's a cat in That's a crazy. quarter pounder of a cheese box. I love cats that young because their hair's a mess. They look like fucking. They just look all cracked out. Can I see the cat? Their hair's a mess. Just, they don't have. They don't know how to clean themselves or comb That's their the shit. That's going yet. to school. Is he, I'll he's, show you in a second because they're loud. He's so ready for school. Where's the messy hair God one? God damn it. Hang on. Ugh. But anyway, we've been going for long enough, I yep. think. Oh, uh, here. Here's the messy hair one. Oh, <laughs> what a boy. Yeah. We're yeah. a girl. Yeah. Uh,. I still think like I could have adopted three kittens. It would have been way less work than one, <coughs> than one puppy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I want a cat so bad, but like everyone else in my house is definitely allergic. I'm kind of allergic. My oh. throat closes up, but it's like whatever. Take Benadryl. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> take Benadryl like Gary. And also, I have three dogs that would probably kill it. So yeah, that's not good. Um, uh, but I think that'll do it for us for this week. It's nice to get back. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, nice to I- get kicking. Yeah. It's been fun. Yeah. Had a blast. You had a blast? Mm-hmm. You sound very excited. I've had a blast. Woo! A little bit more enthusiasm, sir. I had a fucking blast. It was yeah. uh like and subscribe. Follow us on Buy Me a Coffee. Buy me a coffee forward slash. No, buy me a coffee dot com slash 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 coffee scream. Coffee scream. Just coffee scream. Coffee scream. Yes. Coffee scream. You can every uh Every donation goes to new equipment. Uh-huh. Uh, we just got uh, one the other day from Cat Daddy Jack on Twitter. Oh, thank you. Yes. We're thinking about getting a theremin. Yes. For the show. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure. Maybe a life-size like uh, predator statue. We're trying to. We got. We spent all the money on dumb shit. No one's. We got to. We got to lure Gary here. Yeah. What? Huh? Yeah, we got to get him over here. Yeah. I gotta leave. I gotta. He yeah. probably drinks maybe, travelers. Maybe right? Jess he and drinks, I. Drinks travelers. Travelers Club yeah. for sure. See, he drinks Travelers. He's always got one. Do they, I, I can picture him being like a gin man. Though. Me too. I can see that. Just like I drink yeah. Seagram's gin. Yeah. Like yeah, Seagram's. It's like something. Just I like, like the uh, texture of the bottle. Uh, <laughs> he just buys it of the texture of the bottle. Shit, gross. Yeah, he can't taste okay. It um, Jess yes. and I can buy our silver dancing heels from Dirty Dancing. Yes, I'm obsessed, and I still want them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, let's see. You can find us on Twitter. We are mm-hmm. at C Screen Pod. That's C the letter Screen Pod. That is run by our buddy Nick. I am. It's Jess G. That's Jess with one S. 
You can find Piper and Chris through me or the podcast mm-hmm. yep. account too. Um, also, we are on Apple, Spotify, mm-hmm. and YouTube. Do not forget to like and subscribe and leave a nice review, please. It does help a lot. Yes, and we are also on Instagram at Coffee and Screen Pod, and my personal is Piper A zero four. If you'd like to give me a follow, thank you. Mm-hmm. I post nothing but oversharing and my characters and all that. <laughs> Selfies for days. Yeah. I, um, I, eat, I eat trauma dump. <laughs> no. Well, I don't I trauma e-dump. dump. <laughs> no, she just dumps. She just dump. Yeah. Gross. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't. And you can find Chris every Tuesday at 7. Yes. Wondertime Theater. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Wondertime Theater. We yeah. also made a kick. If you're on kick.com. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah. Go look up Wondertime Theater. You should find it. And, uh, yes. Yeah. Kick, I'm, I'm pretty sure our, our episodes stay up for a long time, too. They get mm-hmm. archived in a way, so that will be cool. How funky. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. It, it was, it did, you know, it worked. It was smooth. It looked nice and smooth. Is the kick going to kick me? Yeah. If, all you, right, you, well, if you don't watch your step. Oh, damn. On that note. You got ID. Guys, all right. Lock your doors. Stay safe. And don't dream it. Be it. <laughs>